The inlay method is appropriate for fresh asphalt jobs, embedding or inlaying the tape into the asphalt before the asphalt surface cools and hardens. Using an inlay process to install Staymark tape into freshly laid asphalt embeds the tape into the road surface. This helps protect markings from snowplow damage and enables fully marked roads to be reopened to traffic more quickly. Good coordination between paving and tape application personnel is important to ensure that tape is properly inlaid at the correct asphalt temperature. Inlay process steps include paving and compaction of the fresh asphalt, pre-marking the road, testing the asphalt surface temperature, applying the tape, and inlaying the tape into the pavement. The process begins with a freshly paved and compacted lane surface. Lane should be paved so that tape is not placed on asphalt seams between lanes. Because the pavement surface must be soft enough to allow markings to be inlaid with the steel drum finishing roller, tape application and rolling must be performed as soon as the correct temperature is achieved. This allows adequate time to apply and inlay the tape within the correct temperature range. As soon as the asphalt has been compacted, pre-mark the road. For long line applications, use 200 to 250 feet of sash chain or thin wire cable as a guide, or snap chalk lines on the asphalt. For skip lines, mark the skip sequence on a sash chain or with chalk or paint to be followed by the tape applicator pointer. Use a non-contact surface thermometer to frequently test the asphalt surface temperature until it is within the desired range. Generally, the asphalt surface temperature should be between 130 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit, but this range can vary depending on the asphalt conditions. Denser asphalt mix may require a higher temperature to achieve proper tape embedment, but never exceed 180 degrees Fahrenheit. See Information Folder 5.7 for detailed information about asphalt mixes and inlay temperatures. Experience will help you determine the right temperature range for your application. While there is no minimum air temperature requirement for inlaying tape, lower air temperatures cause faster cooling of the asphalt, reducing the application time window. When the asphalt surface temperature is within the desired range, begin applying tape. Staymark tape with the adhesive side out allows for more positive curl of tape onto the pavement. This can be helpful when applying skip lines. When using a manual highway tape applicator or a motorized manual highway tape applicator, pre-tamping is not required. Lay the tape following the markings on the surface. Embed the tape with a finishing roller, typically 3 to 5 tons in weight, available from the paving contractor. The finishing roller should be set so that its water is minimized and the vibrator is off. Roll over the tape at a speed of 2 to 3 miles per hour and avoid turning on the tape. Two or three passes are generally required. Press the tape into the pavement so that 50 to 60 percent of the tape's thickness is below the asphalt surface without distortion or flattening of the tape. Hand application of markings requires a pre-tamping step to set markings prior to inlay with a finishing roller. Pre-tamp using a roller tamper cart with up to 100 pounds of weight. Transverse markings should also be pre-tamped using a smaller amount of weight on the tamper cart if necessary to prevent buckling. When embedding transverse markings, roll perpendicular to the marking. The road may be open to traffic as soon as the inlay application is complete and the asphalt has cooled to temperatures that support vehicles without surface damage.